Yo. Not much. Uh, so you just want to look over game two? I think, yeah, I think, uh... Did you pour a glass of water and there's like fucking... It's like... Got like gray, it looks gray. Oh, what the fuck? <laughs> I know I like ST'd a bunch. It was kind of a dumb game, so probably two and three would be the best to work at. Okay, cool. Um, Sounds good. Um, I don't know. First off, I don't know why you uh, counterpick Pokemon. I actually think that's like a pretty good stage for Falco. Yeah, I, wait, why do you think that? Because, uh, I mean, you kill off the top early, and you can kind of train grab pretty easily on the stage, I feel like, for the Fox. Um, I think your recovery is nerfed a lot, like, just because you can't, like, tech as easily, just because, like, the way the lip is. Um, I think it's harder to, like, play around with lasers, because, um, the side platforms are lower, so, like, uh, your full hop's, like, not as good, because you can, like, jump shine you out of it a lot of the time. Like, you jump into side platforms, and you don't have a top platform to, like, move around lasers, which is yeah, nice. I don't use, use plugs that much in general, so I... Yeah, um, I like F I, I like FD more than Stadium personally, just because you have like the wall to ride and the combos are easier. Yeah, that's probably true, but I get hit really. I feel like I get hit way harder on FD by Falco. Hmm. Also, I'm not totally confident in chain grab on box yet because of like turnarounds and stuff. I'm not, like, yeah, mod Y shit's fucking weird. Oh, I do mod X for. Oh yeah, mod X, for, mod Y. Is mod Y better? I don't know. It like buffers it or something. I generally just like hold right or left while I'm in like the up throw lag. I don't even use the mod buttons and like that turns yeah, around. Yeah, I, I do that too, but sometimes it's like kind of want to wait. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Um, I also think Yoshi's story is pretty good versus Falco because you can like suffocate yeah. him more. I find it's yeah. pretty good. I just don't like uh, this stage in Battlefield. I mean, like at the end of the day, it's like a pretty preference matchup I'd say like I don't think it's like yeah, Marth no, I where it's I, I don't think it's like Marth where like FD is just like clearly bad for Fox kind of thing yeah I think on at Battlefield they just fall up to the top platform I, I don't really like FOD either because they just dare you through this side plat it's like yeah I don't I don't like the up tilt uh, under side plat interactions on Fountain yeah, yeah same like, sometimes it's nice, because, like, it's easier to get around lasers, depending on how the stage is, but to me, it's, like, something I don't like counterpicking in tournament, usually just because I don't like revolving around a game plan on, like, RNG kind of thing, where it's like, oh, I like FD mode FOD a lot, but I really don't like the low platform or whatever, right? So, anyways, uh, let's watch. Yeah, it's, it sounds fine. I think I have a dishwasher running, so I don't know if it's like... Nah, it's, it's not picking up anything else. You can see my screen, right? Yeah. Cool. Um, okay, let's watch. Oh, you almost got that running shine. I like, I like the idea. Did I even shine? I think it might have... Oh, wow, you jumped over that laser. That was sick. Yeah, yeah, I like doing that kind of thing. Yeah, I, I don't it's, do it that. It feels really good when you do it. It's like that is that like a chic thing that's like transfer transferred over to Fox? Uh, no, I think I just like picked it up. Hmm. Yeah, that's something I I, like I don't really think about a lot. That's I like being that's cool. like kind of like hyper aggro like when they're lasering because it's just like it's just annoying and I want to get as close to them as possible. So. Yeah, like my Fox in this situation like. What I would do is, like, I would probably get hit by this laser, and then I would jump shine him, reading, like, the next laser, or whatever. Yeah. Like, when you're, like, a wave dash length away, but, yeah, that drill's sick. I should do that. Uh, I guess you just messed up right there, um, acting out of shine. Because I'll usually, like, I'll, like, wave shine down tilt here or something, generally. Or, like, if you're, like, super feeling yourself, you can, like, 
try to like shine reaction tech chase or whatever. Yeah, yeah, that's what I usually, I think I usually try to do that. I f like, I think Hacks is the o only fox that like does like shine wave dash and then like JC shines the tech in place or miss tech. I think uh, him and I Drug know, Fox. I do, the, I do it, I guess. I do it a decent amount. Yeah. I think but, he like uh, popularized it. Yeah, I stole it from Hacks. Yeah. You said Drug Fox does it? I think Drug Fox is like pretty good at tech chasing off shine. I don't know if he's like. Uh, you mean like 2017 maybe? Yeah. I don't think he's like a JC shiner, but I'm pretty sure he was like pretty solid at it. At least like grabbing like the rolls and whatnot. I don't know if. Covering tech and plays is hard, so I just wave shine down to a lot of the time. Like, I only ever saw Hex do the JC shines like on knockdown, so yeah, I, I definitely so, stole yeah. it from him too. Uh, pretty much, I think only the box players do it. I don't think anyone controller does it. <laughs> yeah, I played in Leva last like a week or ago, and like Levin was making fun of me for doing it. Oh, Leva! Like, these box players always do yeah, like his tournament. Oh uh, yeah. I, I did like a it's too hard to grab. I find like Maybe. grab on reaction the tech in place off shine. I think JC shines just easier because it's faster. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah, it is. Like, and like, even if you're late, you can just like double shine or like shine grab or whatever, right? You're not like committed, sort of thing. Yeah, and they're never expecting it. Like, their defensive options are under their bed. Yeah. If you do it near the ledge, they just just fall off and don't grab lunch. They don't like fast fall. You can shine out a shield this, so you got lucky there. So I would, what did I do? oh drill, like drill loses the Falco shine out of shield. Yeah. So like, I'd be careful on like doing like approaching drill a lot of the time. I think it's a lot better like defensively as a move just cause like, um, they can't, they don't really like run up and shield as much as like they'll like stay in place or whatever. So if you're like going to attack, you just got, well it's, it's just kind of like a mix up of like. Do you look out for crouch canceling or do you look out for shielding Falcos? But like you can still get away with drill, so it's still like good. But you just yeah. have to be careful if they like jump into it or they shield it. Cause some like if you get shined for it, it's pretty bad. Whereas if you just did like a lone air or something, you're fine for shadow shield, right? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay. Nice. Good pressure. I feel like you could have got this roll. Yeah. This yeah. You just. Uh, I, th I think I just like didn't expect him to like tech roll in there. These fucking Falcos, they always tech roll in, and it's so annoying because they're just like trying to tech roll and shine, wake up shine you. Yeah, I think you could have. Uh, I think you could have like back aired even if you already jumped here, like instead of this mare and still hit him. Because like you, it looked like you messed up like your tech skill. Because of that, like, random, like, shield stop full hop thing you did. And then you're, like, trying... So, like, recognizing when you're late is also, like, pretty good. Because I felt like you kind of, like, fucked up. And then you, like, still tried to, like, run to where the initial start of the tech is. And then you're just not going to have enough time if he decides to tech in place, right? Yeah. So, just recognizing when you're late and, like, playing a mix up's pretty good. So like in those kind of spots, I like doing things like drill, nair, instead of like uh, up smash or grab when I know I'm gonna be late on a tech chase. Or you can just like wait outside and like cover a tech roll in and then like play position or whatever. Yeah. You can jump into that. To the down air? Yeah, at this percent, like if you jump, um. It's a good way to deal with it because you can shine before Falco can shine you. And then um, it's only like below 40 before it like knocks down. So it's like, yeah. okay. so like something that's like pretty good is like you can sh like try to like win like aerial battles with Falco. Like you do a drill or a nair or something. And then his downer beats you. If you notice your percent, you can just like mass shine, like fast fall after like getting hit by the dare, like below like 40, and then just shine, which is really, really good because you're still like not losing the option of like using your aerial, and it's like either your aerial hits or you can just like get hit by down air and then just shine afterwards, which is fine because then you can just like tech chase off it or whatever, right? Yeah. And then um, if Falco, 
Falco does like the auto cancel back air instead of like the down air in this spot. You just stay grounded and you like dash dance up smash it. And I think it's a lot easier to deal with than this down air. Like this down air is actually quite difficult to deal with. I find like the best answers I have for it is like running shine or like wave dash down like close to it. Yeah. Yeah, I get hit by that so much. It's so annoying. <laughs> Yeah, so I think like I think you just jumped into it there. That that might be like a good counterplay for that. I'll have to like play around with it more because it's like okay, you take like however many percent from the down air, and then if you just shine and then like get like a wave shine down tilt or something off it, then you can do a lot of damage to Falco. And if they tech or not depends if they uh, hard press or light press their L cancel. Because they're probably not going to expect to get shined in that spot, so... It's like, if if you notice they miss tech, if you ever do that mix-up, it probably means they're always going to miss tech. And if they, like, tech it a lot, it probably means they're always going to tech it. Unless they, like, press their trigger, like, slightly harder or less hard, and they don't really, like, pay attention to that. But, like, for me, because I'm box, I use Z, so I literally always, uh... Always you're, you're light press. Yeah, I would miss that tech a hundred percent of the time because I uh, I light press because I prefer the value of light pressing because I don't like getting dash back grabbed by Fox and then like getting up thrown and not being able to tech. I personally value that more. So what you're telling me is you don't have any blood on your hands? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> uh. Fucking Twitter. What a website. I know, right? Yeah. Oh, I like that up tilt. I think I would have back aired there in that spot personally, but that up tilt was cool. I like that. I usually just like spam short out back air there. I don't really think about like what angle they're gonna go for. I'm like, eh, this probably hit and oh, at worst he'll trade. Oh, that. Oh, at least he didn't die there. Oh, that fan end. Wow. What the fuck? <laughs> That sucks. Can you like roll it or something? Can you do a frame back here? Oh. Uh, after the shine? Yeah, the phantom. Like, how do you get phantom? Is that the start of a roll? Uh, must have been. That's so weird. Yeah. I guess he like buffer it rolled. Cause it, it wouldn't have phantom. So you're actionable here, so yeah, um, when you're really close to Falco, a lot of the time you have to shield his lasers, because if you take it, he has like better frame advantage on you, right, because lasers do, I think 12 uh, hit stun, and they do like 7 frames of shield stun, so like you can act faster if you shield, and you just like full hop, and you're... Like barely get clipped. Can you play it one more time? Sure. Yeah, you just get clipped by that laser. Because, like, a lot of time when Falco's full hop, they, like, land with laser. Or, like, down air. So you have to, like, watch out for that. Because a lot of time you have to, like, respect the full hop, unfortunately. Because it, like, goes higher than you. So if you, like, try to challenge it with, like, full hop up air or something, you just get down aired. Right. Um... But yeah, that laser, when when Falco's really close to you, I would like try to power shield that laser and like, um, something I think. Is that just a full hop laser, like in place kind of thing? Yeah. I don't think cause I'm, I don't. Yeah. I, yeah, that's a weird laser. Like I'm not gonna. I feel like I'm never prepared to power shield that one. Yeah. It's, it's just such a weird fucking full hop laser in place into F smash. It's like so cheesy and cringe. Mm hmm. I think. I think even after you get hit, I would just hold shield. 
or something because you're just like he's very close to you like when pretty much when you're in the range where like laser f tilt combos like shielding is pretty good because like you're just in a bad spot but you should also like pay attention to like not being put that close if you're not let's see you got lasered on the ground yeah and then you jumped after and then you got f smashed so um another thing you can do if you shield the laser is you can hold c stick up and then you'll buffer a full hop which is like pretty good at like acting out of lasers because like a lot of the time like the rhythm of like let's say like you're here and falco's like here or something and he shoots a laser um if falco shoots like the laser a lot of like foxes like they'll try to like full hop over it to avoid it by the time you land if falco like runs in aerials you get hit so like a lot of time you want to like shield and full hop after getting hit by the laser and shield or like just standing and then if falco goes in you can hit falco because that's kind of like how the timing works at like that sort of distance yeah i think i just like expected like a defensive option after yeah. that laser but yeah it just got mixed up kind of maybe i should just like commit less yeah like, that spot, that spot's just, like, tricky. Like, I, I think, like, attempting power shield is probably good, and even if you don't get it, being in shield, it's not, like, the worst thing ever. Another thing about shielding lasers is, like, if you ever want to wave dash out of shield, roll, spot dodge, or full hop, shielding lasers is pretty much always better, but if you ever want to, like, dash forward, dash back, turn it up to, like, stuff like that, then you don't want to shield lasers. Oh, that's the Bobby classic. I know, it's so annoying. Something that you can do, like here, like, I think, I doubt this is like some tricky mix up. Like, I honestly think he fucked up and he's like trying to go to the platform. But you can like shield poke them um, if they like shield after. Like, if you do like short hop up air. I don't know if you've ever seen like Kalindi do that. Like a rising short hop up air. Some, yeah, that's not. Yeah. Yeah, it's kind of annoying, but. I think I did. That's what I was going for. Then, like, you're up there. Yeah. Oh, yeah, it looks, yeah, it looks like you had a good idea. Nice shine. Um, this, uh, this nair is not that good because you nair immediately. Whereas if you just don't nair and you do the same full hop, you can, like, you can still double jump and, like, wave land to the platform or you can, like, you know, you can still fast fall or you can do like late aerials or whatever, but this nair is only going to hit if Falco like jumps right into it, but Falco would full hop over it, right? So this nair, like, it's better to like not immediately do aerials out of full hop and you can still do the same full hop, but you can just like, maybe. Nice tech chase. Ooh, I like that charge. I don't know. I don't charge. think I, I, really meant, I don't think I meant to charge there, but then in the moment it happened, I was like, oh. Do you ever um charge forward smash on the box when you need to like wake up dash attack? Uh, that happens to me so much. No, I haven't. Oh, true. I just spam I only ever like wake up shine or wake up dash back a lot. True. Yeah, smash the eye these lasers up is really good. I don't know if you knew that, but... Is that what I did? I don't know. I just mash up. Like, if Falco grabs you, like, even at, like, zero, uh, below, like, the battlefield top plot, like, just on the ground, you can smash the eye and, like, teleport to the top plot if you smash the eye up. Yeah, I smash the eye up at the last. Like, or up and behind. Yeah. I haven't played around with... Yeah, I'm not sure. I I like up smashing these auto cancel back airs or like back airs in general. 
because a lot of the time, like, the difference between up smash and grab is, like, they do come out, like, the same frame, right? So, like, up smash lets you hit airborne people better, whereas, like, grab um, yeah. lets you uh, grab, like, shielding opponents, and it's, like, fine for, like, ground punishes, but you're able to whiff punish more leniently on people in the air. Like, I do uh, up smash on, like, Marth auto cancel Nair, for example, because I'm able to hit him out of the air, whereas if I try to, like, whiff punish with grab, I can only hit Marth, like, on his landing lag frames, which is, like, essentially nothing. It's auto-canceled. Yeah. But the only thing you have to worry about is, like, ASDI down, but he's also back airing, so you might not even get it. Whereas, like, down air, they pretty much get the ASDI down tech all the time. Yeah, I, um... Yeah, I think it's. I think it's pretty good versus airborne opponents. Sometimes it depends on like the situation. Like, I, like Falco auto cancel backer. I think up smash is really good. You can also like run up and like ASCI down it for like quite a while and just shine. But I think I think it's really good versus AC bear. Um, it's really good versus Marth Nair. Um, sometimes it's good at like catching like peach float coming down things like that I don't really use it that much in like fox dittos unless it's like punish game or tech chase related um, yeah that's, you're just like a little late I feel like jump shine might be better than nair in that spot just because it knocks down where, like, Nair, you don't really get much at 7%. And if Falco holds down, you're screwed. Oh, yeah, so you got hit by a down air airborne and you got the shine. I don't know if it's intentional, but, yeah. That's how that interaction works. Yeah, there, I would probably uh, go for the shield poke there. Instead of try to hit this. I would just do short hop. Oh, nice drill. That's really good at with punishing Falco. Because Falco doesn't really like to shield a lot of the time after aerials. Oh. Yeah. Stuff spot. Everyone knows I just spam like Oh my god. I hate this. I hate this move so much. Something I like doing is like. It's so hard to edge Falco, but like I like doing like shine turnaround backers and just cover. Uh, yeah, I like that too. I think that's what I was going for, right? Yeah, I think so. Or right, yeah, you just grab the ledge. Um, there's a couple Fire. ways you can cover this. Um, so this generally won't hit. I've seen it hit before, but you can't really hit this usually. Yeah. from on stage so you can like let go and dip backwards and then uh like go high and like get like a backer that covers like straight and down to ledge uh for, if you have like invincible ledge invincibility mm -hmm. so i think that's pretty good um and then if falco goes high then you lost that mix up you can also just run off shine and read that and you don't have to like read the angles but then if Falco said B is like that's frustrating right so it's not like an end all be all something I also like doing with side B is like run off rising nair I think that's pretty good yeah it's good um hacks does Falco's are gonna be so fucking good yeah I think um hacks does like wave dash off and then back here like he fast falls through the ledge and then back here to like cover side B and the reason that's really good is because, like, obviously back air sends, like, side B well, but because he does the wave dash off, instead of, like, a short hop back air, he's able to auto-cancel the back air, so, like, he's able to act, like, way faster because back air has 10 frames of landing leg, and if you auto-cancel it, it has, like, 4. So you can, like, back air into, like, instant up tilt or something. Yeah. Or, like, shield if you, like, hear the side B after so like a lot of time i just like try to cover like when i think they'll side b 
and then I react if the side B hits or not. So like I'll like do like a back air and then does it hit? I'm like cool, back air hit and then what do I do off that? And it's like a, they're probably dead, right? And then it's like if it doesn't hit and I still hear the side B sound, I like just throw up my shield because I'm like all right, I was late or like too early, I just mistimed it, whatever. And then shield wave dash and then you know you like punish it on stage or whatever, right? Yeah. And then if you see the up B, you can like throw out the backer and you can like, or like a rising air or something, and you can like shine, turn around, wave dash to ledge or something, or like uh, read like the straight angle or the high angle or something, right? Like you still have time, but you don't have like as much time as if you like never covered side B. But it's like all these Falcos literally side B and like. They definitely side B more on netplay than they did on CRT, so no matter what they tell you, it's like... Like, I've played, like, CRT, like, a few times, like, I've played, like, since, like, rollback, and, like, it, it's a different matchup on CRT. Like, <laughs> Falco, like, you can, like, actually, like, up tilt side B, and it doesn't feel like a gimmick, it's crazy. I don't even remember CRT, mainly. It's been so long. Yeah, it's fucked up. And then yeah I think I think something really good actually is like you can like full hop like over this and then if they side B at a time that's ideal to back air you land with back air but if not you just full hop over and then like dash grab or whatever on uh, the side was B I just in, like wave dash hmm was I like in lag of my wave dash is that why I got hit yeah I think so nice good up tilt Oh, that, that was weird. I feel like that's been happening to me lately. Where I, like, try to hit it this way. Let's see. Yeah, I'm surprised. Oh, wow. Yeah. I, I would have thought that would have, like, hit to the right instead of the left. I should have just my stereo. Yeah. Just, like, not confident. Dash does come out faster, so, like, sometimes it's nice, but, yeah, at the end of the day. Confidence is key. Bones is getting better at not always doing auto cancel. He has decent timing mix ups on uh, backer. I think here, um, this is something that Kalindi told me is like hitting this on reaction is like uh, really, really hard, right? Yeah. Because you're so far away. Yeah. And like, let's say, best case scenario, uh, bones, no tech, stand ups, you get a grab, and then that's like the best case scenario, right? Yeah. You're gonna have to read anyways when you platform tech chase, right? Because like it's low percent and the positioning and whatnot, it's like you can't really cover everything generally. It's not like reliable on the platform tech chase. Like, I know there's like stuff where you can like up air, land, and then like up till, and then if it's like close to you and then like you dash grab the rolls but like generally it's like not consistent at low percent or whatever i don't know like the exact specifics but a yeah, lot of the time it's like either. a lot of the time it's like really hard to like get it in every situation on every di sort of thing right so i'm saying um i would it's sometimes really good to just hold uh, like this position here because it's like Bones does roll in it's like cool um, you get a free roll in punish right you read you're gonna you're gonna have to read anyways right so like whatever it's fine right and if Bone rolls a, Bones rolls away um, you might be able to punish that on reaction from here just cause like he gets cut off from the ledge I don't know actually um but no tech stand up, like generally can't cover it. And then get up attack, you might be able to cover standing this far away, right? Um, all on reaction. Whereas, uh, what should we call it? Just going for this like preemptive grab on like the no tech stand up is like really hard and it probably will lose a lot of situations. And then, like, uh, you're in a bad position if you're wrong. Like, if they just roll in, you just put yourself in the corner when you don't really have to. Whereas if you just stand here, it's like either Falco rolls in, or you get, like, a free reactionary punish, or you're just in a great spot. 
like, where like Falco's in the corner, and then you just like do your like turn around up to old stuff, and just yeah. like wall him out kind of thing. Like granted, like reeds are good to go for, but especially at like seven or something. I wonder if this was even a possible like. I could have even possibly reacted to that and grabbed it. Yeah, my my general rule of thumb for tech chasing is it's probably not realistic to get the tech chase if you can't stand in front of them before they land from the tech. Like shine tech chasing is like significantly harder than like someone not diing like an up throw up smash. You know what I mean? Yeah. So yeah, and then you just like attack instantly out of the corner. Get got that down is so stupid. <laughs> you can beat this up tilt like airborne, like if you jump or like fast fall, but you just got red. Then you're probably dead here. Yeah. Falcos like will shoot that laser a lot when uh, they want to cover down. So. I feel like. Uh, Let's see, let's see. Um, if you do this recovery and you go to ledge, because, like, obviously, like, you're a fan of ledge dashing, right? Like, you could, like, get hit by this and then immediately side B. Like, just, like, being aware that Falco's, like, doing that. Because Bones is probably not ready for covering that because he doesn't do anything that covers it, right? Yeah. So just like reacting faster to like getting hit by lasers or just like realizing like that's like a possibility that could happen. You could also like smash the eye the laser up to like make it even trickier, but it's hard to like smash the eye up and side B, but you smash the eye up and up B. It's pretty good. Yeah, you get down air to airborne. I don't know if you could have shined this, but just because it's like pulled away. Yeah, maybe you could down tilt. That'd be good. This snare is really bad um, right here because if you do it off the platform you pretty much can only go a certain distance whereas if you're like dash dancing on the ground it's like you kind of have like infinite playground to like run in and there whereas like here uh, you just kind of like cut off your dash and then all Falco has to do is literally just run to where um, the range is that your nair can't reach you know. I mean, all Bones gets is a laser, because he wasn't set up for it, but, yeah, it's not exactly, like, likely to hit. Yeah, see, like, I don't know what I was thinking there. I, I think it was fine that you stayed there, you just, uh, you bit the bullet too early. I think you could have shined this. Yeah, like, you're actionable this whole time, so. I think, yeah, that's, like, something about it is, like, getting hit by something and then uh like situations where i don't get knocked down it's like mm -hmm. getting a counter hit i'm usually just like not familiar with the situation and i just kind of freeze up and don't do anything yeah i think i think that's something you could like practice and like uncle punch or whatever is like um, yeah just like pra like set up a replay of falco just doing like downer into shine or whatever i mean there's literally replays of it and like the fox save state discord or whatever and then you can just, okay. like, practice, like, jumping into it and, like, how that works. Uh, wait, can you invite me to that Discord? Yeah, I'll do it, also, uh, I'll do it after yeah, this. Yeah, yeah, after. But, like, I also, like, even just, like, jab grab, I always, like, fucking get hit by that. Yeah, uh, you're supposed to, like, crouch cancel it and shine. Even sometimes you can just, like, get hit by it and still shine before they grab you. But, yeah, that's something I've been working on, too, actually. Especially if there's like ice climbers. Yeah. Oh, that was really good. That's something I struggle with a lot actually. Is like when you're standing at like this distance, knowing if they'll go like behind you or in front yeah, of you. Yeah, it's really tough. Yeah. I mean, up would have covered both probably, but I like that you grab. Like that was really cool. Um, you could up tilt there maybe. But the short hop backer's fine. I think I have to, like... I'm supposed to, like, kill off that grab. I feel like it's pretty bad to give him a reach into recovery. Yeah. I, don't know. I would probably just, like, uh... Let's see. Nice. 
uh, I think up till into like yeah. strong backer or like a weak backer into like up smash or something. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, um, I don't like that you're using drill a lot at this percent because it's like, what does a drill get you? You know what I mean? You don't have to worry about crouch cancel. Whereas, like, if you get, like, a strong Nair or a strong Bear, it's better on shield. And if it hits potential tech chase into up smash or you hit Falco yeah, off stage. You can, you can drill grab. I also feel like drill, like, it covers more, like, it's easier to hit them with drill, you know? And it's like, hmm. I don't know. I think Nair reaches further. I, I personally find Nair easier to hit. But. Yeah. Something about drill, just, it feels, like, comfortable to me. True. Oh, you got lucky. <laughs> and then yeah. I hate yeah. I hate Shina B so much. It's yeah, literally me. it's literally wobbling. You just have to watch you die. It's so cringe. <laughs> it's I like played I played this Falco at like Mango's birthday bash. Um I played like Mango and Winners and then I played like this Falco horse platter after. And I literally got like Shina bead like four times in one game, and I was just like wasted. And I was having like a great time playing Mango, and then I just get like laser camped under the side platform. And, like I'm so drunk at the tourney, and I just get Shina bead, <laughs> and nice. all his homies are cheering for him, and I was just it was just really sad. <laughs> all right, so back to Pokemon. Okay, I'm gonna leave you most of the talking because. My voice is kind of like, I need to rest my voice. Okay. So, oh. That was pretty tass. I mean, you can jab reset if they don't hold up, but they can't hold up, so, I mean, I, the shot's fine. Yeah, um, so I'd be from ledge. You have to full hop and hit Falco, like, like right here sort of thing before uh, they do the side B edge cancel thing otherwise like it's pretty hard to punish you can up smash that nice hmm. ooh I like that fairy Up smash this. You don't need a dash like you have enough time. Yeah. I I'm I'm just like the, the, the up smash feels kind of awkward to unbox for me. Really? That's interesting. Yeah. Nice. Ooh. Yeah. We're ready for that shine to hit. I usually just kind of spam aerials there and hope for the best, like aerial shine. Ooh, yeah, that's hard to get. I sometimes either just back air there. I wouldn't up air there. I'd just back air off stage. Cause yeah. this isn't this isn't gonna combo, and then yeah. it doesn't kill. So I would push Falco off stage. Yeah, right there, um, after getting lasered, you can just take laser and then dash back and grab or up smash the nair, and then, like, you know, you probably get a kill off that, right? Yeah. Or you can turn around up tilt, too. I like dashing back a little more, though. You could also, like, full hop after getting hit by this laser, and then, um, fast fall through the platform and, like, back air or something. Pretty much all this is beating is, like you acting poorly, essentially, but if you act out of the laser fast enough, Falco shouldn't be able to hit you. 
Because, like, essentially, like, when Falco, like, lasers you, Falco can either, like, dash in, laser, dash in, aerial, or, like, in place laser, in place aerial, or, like, dash away laser, or dash away aerial. So, it's, like, super important to, like, pay attention to their habits off laser of, like, what they like to do after. Because, like, essentially, like, this 2% doesn't mean shit. It's just, like, what they do after. Like, granted, if Bones stays in the corner and then literally only does short hop laser then like i guess like that's a problem you have to like learn how to like deal with that right but yeah essentially like you know if i like told you like yeah you get hit by like six lasers but at the end of it you get an up smash like i think every time you'd be like yeah i'm down for that right so like just try not to like worry about getting lasered for a while because it's like at the end of the day it's not like leading to meaningful hits so if falco like lasers and then um lasers in place again so you get hit by this and then falco lasers in place after you just uh, dash in uh jump shine and you can hit him or like nair or like up smash you just have to do it quickly like acting out of lasers really fast is important otherwise like falco gets like a lot of like fake openings on you it's just kind of cringe execution test bullshit yeah um typical and then like uh if falco does like laser approaching laser uh it beats you doing dash back but if you full hop that beats that or like up tilt like sometimes beats it it's like weird how it interacts but like it can beat it and then aerial generally trades with turnaround up tilt after taking laser dash back generally beats it unless they like drift it back well or something but yeah like i'm sure you're like aware of that it's just important in the matchup yeah you're trying to sweet spot i respect it yeah i go for like sweet spot like 99 oh my god that was just cringe. Yeah, I think uh, going for like hard edge guards on Falco is just like not worth it in like these scenarios. Yeah, I know it's pretty dumb. I think I was tilted off the last game, like losing the last game, so I was just like going yeah. for dumb shit. Oh. Yeah, I would just like throw a short up back air, like like yeah. I would have like done like the rising nair earlier because like the, ri the runoff rising nair is like pretty low risk generally. Yeah. And then yeah, it's just unfortunate. Oh, yeah. Um, Box grab. This down air is just so annoying. I would try to, like, running shine this. It's pretty good. Or, like, jump shine. Like, I mean, I've seen you j jump shine in, like, Fox does, or, like, JC shine. Because you get it grounded generally. Yeah. But running shine is pretty good versus that. Or, like, wave dash down. Bait it out. Then that should be suicide down air. That was such a stupid game. Yeah. I mean... I think you probably got cheese because it because of the stage. To be honest, I think. yeah, I think like it makes it harder to like angle, right? I have uh, I have diet, diet melee, so um, yeah, I like the stage. True. Have you seen the diet stadium? Yeah, I saw it. it looks pretty sick. It's really fun to play on, so I, I kind of just play on it because it's fun. True. True. Yeah, I mean, my stage is a preference. Like, I mean, like, game one was Dreamland. I'm fine striking there. I think that's cool. I like Dreamland. I like I like FD. I like Yoshi's. I feel like if I'm playing bad, I like FD. Because, like, I'm probably not going to win on other stages. Because, like, if I'm playing bad, bad, that's generally, like, a punish thing, probably. So, it's like, okay, maybe I can, like, chain grab and, like, get a couple up throw up smashes and get, like, a nice zero to death or something. Talk about that. stages versus Peach, though. Oh. Uh, I, I was, like, thinking about it. I was playing uh, some Peach in tournament the other day. It's like, any, any stage I could have gone to was just bad for me. It felt like. Okay, my preference on stages is uh, I like Stadium the most because, like. Uh, yeah, yeah, they banned Stadium in a best of three, and then it's like. Any stage you I, like, I like Battlefield a lot versus Peach. You do? Yeah, cause um. She lives forever though. She dies at uh, eighty three off up smash. But if you don't get that, it's like she lives forever. I yeah, know. I don't like Yoshi's as much, cause it's like, 
I find you can just die really easily on that stage, and it's hard to, like, camper. I think a lot of the time you can't really fight Peach, and you just have to, like, reposition. Um, a lot. I, I don't like Battlefield versus most characters as Fox, because the ledge, like, you can't ride anything. Uh, I like it in the game, I like it in the ditto and I like it versus Peach. That's like about it. Yeah, I'm fine with it in the ditto. I I strike there versus Puff too. I strike FOD. I used to do that. I just find it more comfortable on Battlefield. I think it's probably worse though, just because like the recovery thing. But I don't know. It's like always the same. Whereas like FOD. You can have like a soon savers hungry box moment where you tech roll to like the left and the platform comes up and then you just get rested for it. Oh yeah, that was funny. That was so bad. That's unfortunate. It can kind of work in your favor sometimes though. Sometimes, yeah. I just I I I'm fine with it in friendlies. I just don't really like picking it in tourney a lot of the time. But um, yeah, Peach. I think uh, Stadium's good. Then Battlefield or Yoshi's, depending on what you prefer, is good. And then I think Dream Hunt's probably better than FOD and FD most of the time. FD can be really good for Fox, but like it's just generally not worth it for like tournament play. Uh, but like sometimes in friendlies, you can just like whoop Peach on FD. I find. I think. Yeah, I, I, I do okay. I think like I'm actually pretty good at like I played Kazu the other day, and he's like the hardest Peach. Uh, probably. I haven't played Triff or like Armada in like forever, so I can't say. Um, but he's probably like the hardest Peach versus Fox, and I did the best versus him on FD because Peach struggles landing on FD, right? And then it allows my punish game to get better because uh, I can shark better, and then you know his punish games probably like similar level because like it's already so good so it doesn't matter like how easy the chain grab is because it's like he's kind of already like zero to deathing me for the most part yeah. whereas like if you play like bad peaches it's like oh god like you know suddenly they have like a punish game which is like annoying yeah. and then i generally don't like fod something i used to do versus peach like before like every tournament decided to do frozen pokemon I would start FD game one, and I would just get it over with. And it's like, cool, now I don't have to like reverse 3-0 on chain grab stage. Yeah. And it's like, generally you're gonna win Pokemon Stadium versus Peach, I find. Like, and it's like, if you can't win on Stadium, then it's like, you probably can't win versus the Peach in general. So like, I mean, like, that's fine. Yeah, that's true. So, like, like the way I see it is, like, you go down 1-0 if you lose on FD, and it's, like, you counterpick Stadium, and it's, like, it's immediately, like, 1-1, generally, and that's, like, whatever, we have a set now, like, cool, I don't have to worry about this dumb stage anymore. Yeah. So, like, winning game one's also, like, pretty important, but, like, the nice thing about Peach now is, like, you can just start to strike Battlefield, or, like, start Yoshi's generally, which is pretty sick. Because of the rule set. And then. Yeah, you know, she's just kind of scary because one down smash is like your stock, basically. But. The nice thing about, um. Uh, Peach, uh, on, uh, whatchamacallit, Yoshi's is like. You can do, like, wave shine up tilt combos. And, like, up tilt into up air, like, actually will, like, kill at, like, certain percents. Whereas, like,. That combo stops working by the time, like, it would kill off the top on, like, other stages, for example. Which I think is, like, yeah. something people don't really consider when, like, talking about stages. So I think that's pretty cool. Yeah, that is cool. I haven't thought about it like that. Um, yeah, generally in that matchup, I just, like, I shoot a lot of lasers, and if she's close, I don't shoot lasers because I don't want to get dash tagged. I never challenge her aerials going to side platform. I just wait for like the down smash on the platform and then I like made a video on it, but essentially you just like up air the down smash and you like punish it. That's not too hard. And then um You can also do I find the shield poke up air works a lot on Peach too, which is nice. Um Oh yeah it does. I I do that a good bit. 
I don't think uh, edge guarding her is that hard because like a lot of the time you can like intercept her float as she's coming down with like a back air or like a nair or like a jump shine or something which is pretty good and then whenever she's on the ledge uh, you can like react uh, if you like crouch in front of the ledge you can react to all of her options like if uh, Peach stands up you just up smash if get up attack you just crouch and then up smash if Peach rolls you just uh, wave dash back shine turn around up smash you could dash back out of crouch too but that's like unnecessarily difficult in my opinion um, and then if Peach does like tournament winner or whatever like it's fine it's not really a good option and then like Peach does any weird like double jump shit it's like cool her aerials aren't safe on your shield anymore because she's not floating I think another thing versus Peach is like try not to whiff punish her float and you have to you'll do way better because you'll just get clipped most of the time because it has like no end leg right so you have to like hit the float as uh she's coming down with it or as she like starts it up not like the end lag of when she lands from the float and it'll do like a lot better for Peach I find yeah that's true that's like a, a huge adjustment I made cause I think I play the matchup like pretty good now do good versus like most of the Peaches that's good I've been doing okay in it yeah I mean you beat Jam Round so you got much better at it Jam Round's really good the other day. hmm I beat Blue's Clues the other day yeah I mean, yeah, Blue's Clues is another good win. Like, if you're beating, like, Blue's Clues level Peaches, then you're, like, you know, you're not terrible at it, right? Like, obviously. Yeah, I lost to Odie, though. That's what made me, like, I lost him on Yoshi's, and I was, and I lost to, um, Peachy Clean, so it's, like. I've never played that uh, matchup Peachy feels Clean. That like, the most, like, high-variance matchup, like, for Fox. I don't know. It's, like. I don't think so, personally. I used to think I was, like, the biggest Peach complainer, but, like, once I, like, figure it out I was just like yeah it's I've, just like if you're not playing clean it's like you can get blown up pretty easily yeah I agree like the punish game stuff is fucked but like a lot of this stuff like Ravi does like all this weird like tech skill stuff but it's like a lot of the time you don't need to like learn like the counterplay and if you just kind of like play like good macro game plan versus like Peach and you just like respect certain ranges and whatnot like you'll generally be fine like, you don't need to learn, like, the counterplay to everything. And you can just, like... Like, if you, like, get in your head that, like, you don't have to fight your way out of every situation. If you just, like, run away or, like, double jump out of, like, a bad spot or something. Like, generally, like, you just reset neutral and it's, like, cool. Something I like doing a lot for speech is, uh, when they, like, start up their float, I'll, like, meet them in the center and then I'll, uh... I'll jump, short hop, up air them. It's pretty cool. Jump, short hop, up air. If they do what? If they float, I can, I can like uh, uh I can look at Peach real quick. You want to watch Peach? So yeah, like that's just bad lasers by me. Actually, I play bad this game. Let's not watch this. What round is this? Uh, semis. Wait, which game do I play? Oh, this is the tournament I was in, right? Yeah. This is like the qualifier one. Uh, I think I play pretty good this FOD game, actually. So I drill, let's get the nice damage. I should up tilt, but like it's tournament, so I just want damage. There I should down smash, because up tilt doesn't combo, but like whatever, it's fine. And then, oh, that's unfortunate. <laughs> yeah. A lot of the time, like, the parasol is, like, pretty easy to edge guard. You can, like, react to that, but I'm just bad. A lot of time, it's better to just, like, stand on stage and, like, not cover ledge and just, like, ledge trap. Yeah. Peach doesn't really have good options. I got some, like, crazy, like... I wall tech the up B and Shinder. Oh time. yeah, if you like hold like one of the triggers when you like wave dash the ledge and then you tech, yeah, that's just pretty pretty cool. When you get dash tech, you can just like a uh, drop shield and just shine. I'm bad though. Drop shield, yeah. 
shield shine. Yeah, you don't even have to shine out a shield. That's how laggy it is. Or you can like wave dash down and shine. Yeah, it's pretty cool. I uh, drill accidentally. Then I get hit here. Get the tech though. Yeah, full hop over Peach is like good. And like do like backers like that. Oh, fuck up. I'm playing kind of nervous, but it's fine. You wave dash out, you get the up tilt. It's really good. It's hard to do on box, like the turn around up, to, up tilt, kind of, and like wave dash lag. Yeah. yeah, you just gotta practice it. Yeah, I've been practicing it lately. It's, it's, tough. it's really, really important to like learn that on like Sheik and Peach and whatnot. And then yeah, Mog just keeps covering ledge, so just don't go ledge. Just run away a bunch. Yeah, you can't shine a shield with peach pressure generally. Yep. Super good damage. And a lot of time, like, even when the combo ends, it's not like Peach is in a good spot. I could have waved Ash out Shine and kill him for that, but it's fine. Yeah, if you miss space a drill, it's really good to just like full hop after. And then yeah. generally, or like dash back or something. I like full hop though. And then yeah, right here I'm just trying to make life hell. I think I start trolling here, just full hopping on the top platform. It's opium. <laughs> I was so mad, I got like down smashed really stupidly, like two games, and I just like threw them. I like outplaying him super hard on FD, and then I just got grabbed. I was like, oh, true. And then, yeah, like, I'm not even, like, switching up what I'm doing that much. It's just, it takes, like, big call-outs to, like, call out what I'm doing, and I'm doing relatively low risk. Soft nair up smashes are, like, really good to kill. Yeah. And, like, forward air. Or, like, drill shine. And I think that's, like, pretty important is, um... Never do like raw up smash for his peach, cause like a lot of time you just get shielded. Anytime you think you can like whiff punish like float with up smash, you just can't. You just get shielded. So just grab in every spot that you think you want to like raw up smash. Like I know it doesn't like true combo or whatever, but grab's pretty good sometimes. Cause you can like forward throw dash attack and like you can like sometimes up throw combo if they're like bad. But yeah, I don't know. Um. I kind of forget what we talked about, but in the Falco matchup, but I hope it was helpful. <laughs> no, I think I'm, I, I remember most of it. Okay, and, cool. Uh, yeah, I don't know if you want to like recap or whatever. Like, I can definitely, I can just watch this again, right? Yeah, yeah, I'll upload it to YouTube. But yeah, I think Falco, I would like pick different stages. Uh, I think you should work on like the jumping in to shine and like recognizing that situation um i feel like you don't play like take laser mix-ups too much which could be helpful if you like add in like dash forwards and dash backs off that it's really good um you don't really i just, tech I just need to tech chase a lot cleaner too yeah yeah practice that too up smashing in neutral maybe sometimes up smash versus the auto cancel backer yeah that's really good versus falco in my opinion. Cause even sometimes, like, when Falco, like, um, does, like, that full hop, uh, that's really annoying to deal with. Um, and he, you remember, like, the laser forward smash that you got hit yeah. by? Like, sometimes you can just, like, up smash him before he can get the laser out, or, like, down air out. Or if you get behind the full hop, you can just, like, up tilt it, which is, like, good. Something I've been like working on a bit, but yeah. Um, also, just like pushing Falco off stage is like pretty good. I'd say like you want to com combo like with as many up air changes as you can, but as soon as like you up air and then you don't really have like a good position to shark and it's not gonna kill, I would just like hit him off stage if he's close to off stage. Yeah. Um, 
makes sense. Something I like doing a lot is like I like forward throwing, like back throwing Falco, because a lot of time you have to like up air read uh, for like platform tech chases. So you might as well like go for a read sort of thing that like uh, actually nets you a kill, right? It's like oh, if you actually like yeah. forward throw like instant turnaround back air or something, and then you can like cover a few options from doing that. The other thing I like doing versus Falco is when they side B, I like trying to shine it instead of back air, like just like on stage shine because your reactions are worse on net play. So I feel like timing the shine actually like collides with your reaction sometimes. Wait, timing which shine? Like uh, when Falco side Bs and you just like sit on stage, like you like you're like near the ledge and you just like press down B, like oh, in yeah. the situations that like people normally like up tilt the side B, you just shine it just because like it's hard to react to so like you just do the fastest possible option and like your reaction because it's like quote unquote worse on like net play it's like shines like kind of like the only thing you can like react to side b with i don't know i found like it actually like works more than you think i don't know yeah it's pretty cool i think it's like it's kind of gimmicky like it's not like something i'd be like oh just like practice this and like master it but it's like eh, like you might like get a kill with it sometimes i don't know yeah sometimes like the situation is so awkward that you only have time to like shine yeah so uh, i do it in, i do it in those spots yeah i think it's pretty good um yeah uh let me know like how the falco stuff goes and peach stuff goes all uh, right yeah i appreciate the lesson yeah. it was helpful. no Thank worries um, i'm gonna end stream now so peace right. stream